section 4.3 of your text, which deals with relations, functions, and graphs. And we'll start uh, by talking a little bit about a relation. Uh, we all know about relationships, but in algebra, we've already observed that when we have an equation like y equals 3x plus 1 as an example, this equation establishes a relationship between y and the x. And we generate, we can generate pairs of numbers to represent that relationship. Relationships are any set of ordered pairs, ordered pairs generated by the same expression, algebraic expression. So in this equation, we could generate ordered pairs by generating a table here, assuming values for x, and calculating what the corresponding y would be. So if x equals 0, we'd have 3 times 0 plus 1 is 1. x equals 1, we'd have 3 times 1 plus 1 is 4. x equals 2, we'd have 2 times 3, which is 6, plus 1 is 7. Minus 1, we'd have minus 1 times 3 is a minus 3, plus 1 is a minus 2. Minus 2, we'd have a minus 2 times 3 is a minus 6, plus 1 is a minus 5. So <clears throat> these ordered pairs represent a relationship between x and y in this equation. So a relationship is any set of ordered pairs related by an equation. Notice when we are calculating our ordered pairs, the y component of the ordered pair. The y value depends or is dependent on the value that we assume for x. Once we assume a value for x, we can calculate the y, but the y is dependent on the x, okay, on the value of x. <clears throat> the next concept that the book um, introduces is the concept of domain and range. The domain and the range. And we can relate that back to ordered pairs. Um, If we have uh, ordered pairs, the x value is the domain I sh uh, instead of is, let's say r, the domain r, the domain is, I guess is is correct, the domain is the ordered, the x component of the ordered pair. And the range is the y component of the ordered pair. Okay? So, the domain here is the set of numbers that, of the x's. So the domain would be 0, 1, 2, minus 1, and a minus 2. That's the domain of the ordered pairs that we've calculated for this equation. And the range are the y values, which would be 1, 4, 7, 
minus 2 and a minus 5. The domain and range. So let's take a look at a series of ordered pairs. Now, order, you can have domain and range and ordered pairs that aren't numbers. For instance, you could have um, an instructor and a course. Instructors and courses would be an ordered pair. Uh, for instance, um, Mr. X, and he teaches history. Uh, Miss Y teaches math. Uh, Dr. N teaches chemistry. These are ordered pairs. And the range, the domain of the ordered pair would be the X value, Mr. X, Miss Y, and Dr. N. And the range would be history, math, and chemistry. But we're, we're in a math course, so we'll order our ordered pairs as numbers. So if we have a set of numbers, 2 thirds and minus 4, and a 6 and 1 fourth, and 0 and 0. And we were to find the, the domain and range of those ordered pairs, the domain would be 2 thirds, 6, and 0, and the range would be a minus 4, minus, or 1 fourth, and 0. The x values are the domain, the y values are the range.